action. All right, this is how I'm gonna transit level. Uh, I'm gonna power up my base. This one's already pumping. Hey man, that's my Snapchat. Naked girls don't do it. All right, so, and then I'm gonna power up my rover here. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, let go. It'll go, it won't show anything for a second. It should pop up, bam, it's like I knew this. Then uh, powered up my data collector here. And the first thing we're gonna do after the uh, software loads is we're gonna connect to our base. configuration already pre-configured in here all we gotta do is touch it let's see here where's the sun I'm actually just trying to get you to see the screen here might take a sec Another thing it is, it's good to turn this base on and this rover on and let them cook for about five minutes out here. They'll pull in all the coordinate systems and files and stuff that, that are coming from the satellites and it helps a little bit. All right, from our home screen on 6.0 here, we're gonna go to our device profiles, select it. Here's my two pre-configured setup settings. I'm gonna hit base and it should connect automatically to the base over here. We know that because it's got the blue, it's changed to blue here. Still thinking here a little bit. All right, now that we've got that, we're gonna hit the little arrow over our base and we're gonna to go to edit configuration. None of this needs to change. We're gonna blue dot, blue dot, and we have the option to measure anywhere, which will pull a, a sub-meter position here. It's not going to be exact, but what we want to do is we want to select from a coordinate list. Or we can plug it in or select it. So I can go to the map or select it. We've already plugged this in, so we're good. It does need an elevation on it. When we get there, we're just going to go to the next step. And we're going to hit the green check. And it should say in a second that the base has been configured. If you don't have the right coordinate in there, it will say it's not within the area that it's supposed to be. All right, you know that by the beep there and you hit okay. Now that we've got that, we're gonna go to our rover. We're gonna select it. It's gonna automatically connect. It's gonna connect to this head right here. You know that because it's got the blue again. Uh, another thing while I'm talking about this, make sure that arrow is pumping in and then we're gonna go over here to the base. Make sure our base is pumping out. Uh, those are important things. This is sending data to this and this is receiving data here. All right, so now that we've done that, we touched the rover, we know that we're locked in and we're configured because we have an X and not an X with a circle on it. That means we're serve, this means we're survey grade. We can go into layout points, lines, or whatever we wanna do. And we can start laying out. So there you go. We can also, while we're doing this, I'll go here. Let's see, we're in layout. We go into that little uh, Excel tab, I call it. Hit the green check. Ah, okay. So if we want to select, what's the point number we had that you wanted to lay out earlier? Uh, 2026. 2026. So 2026, we hit this little check with that there. It'll automatically take you to it and you're laying out. All right, guys. Hey, thank you very much.